Now let's go. Gi, say Tommy, why the West? When you are through with the book, you just throw it away. I guess our television screen must have a million books on it and it's good for the uh, plenty more. I would not throw it away. So Tommy said, oh, what a waste of, waste of time, see? The, this old book that they are studying at the moment, after reading, those people might have just throw it away. But I guess that is what Tommy said. But um, their television screen uh, must have had a millions of books in it and plenty more say that he will never, he would never throw it away, see? He could easily throw away those printed uh, books that uh, the old book that he has found but he said he will never throw away the the i mean uh, the lesson that is stored in the computer screen okay and margie said same with mine and margie was 11 years old and she had never seen uh, telebooks as tommy had uh, tommy was 13 years old and uh margie was um 11 years old okay so she said where did you find it so she asked Tommy where did you find the book the old book uh, Tommy replied I found that book in my in my house uh, pointed without looking so she he just pointed without looking as she was uh, Tommy was busy reading that old textbook at the time so in the attic their attic is uh, if you look here see a space just below the roof as a storeroom see? just below the roof there is a space okay like a store uh, like a storeroom where you go up using stairs yeah and um margie asked hi tommy what is about tommy replied oh this book is about a school yeah now margie was scornful scornful means Contemptuous, showing that you think something is worthless. So, um, scornful means dislike. Okay, uh, so Margie was, uh, you know, dislike, disliking school. School, see, uh, what's there to write about the school? I hate school. So Margie said, "I hate school." What is what is there to write about the school in that uh, old textbook that Tommy has found. So I hate school. Um, Margie hates school. Okay, so Margie always hated school, but now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher he had given her tests after tests in geography, and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent it to the county inspector. So um, Margie always hated the school. And now she had it more than ever. Why? Because uh, she is in the virtual classroom. Remember, uh, not the real classroom. See, a mechanical teacher, a robotic teacher, has been given uh, giving her Margie homework, test after test in geography, and she has been doing you know very bad performance. So one day her mother decided to help her. So mother called. Uh, Send for the county inspector. So county is a country inspector, okay? Now, uh, here, point number four. Who was county inspector, see? The county inspector was a round little man with a red face and whole box of tools with tails and wires. So one day, county inspector came to Margie's house. Uh, he was... Uh, like a technician, okay, a mechanic, no, who repairs his computers and stuff. So uh, he came along with a box of tools, tiles, and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple. So when he reached home, county inspector, he smiled at Margie and gave her an apple. Then uh, took the teacher apart and he took the you know, computer uh, apart, okay. Teacher and his computer's teacher, yeah robotic teacher and Margie uh, had hoped that he would not know how to put it back together but he knew how well right and after an hour and so there it was again so Margie hoped that uh, oh how I wish that this uh, technician or the computer mechanic okay would not uh, be able to put it back fix back the computer again 
but then it did not happen because that uh, county inspector was an expert an expert uh, mechanic so after working for about an hour he fixed the computer okay and it was uh, the computer was working again or the computer teacher was working again see large and black and ugly with this big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked so the computer came back to life uh, with a big screen it appears all the lessons were shown and the question were asked again as usual so it's very dull see sitting on the chair and looking at the computer without talking with a real human being it's a very dull life okay and very boring life so that was not bad the part marky hated let's move to the next page was most was the slot here slot means a given space a position okay where she had to put homework and test papers so after that there is a specific uh, place a position i mean a space where one has to or uh, margie has to put all his homework and test papers okay in the computer now she always had to write them out in a punch code you may underline the words punch code so uh, punch code means uh you know computing language or computer language okay made her learn when she was six years old and the mechanical teacher calculated marks in no time so margie always had had to write uh, all those homeworks and then put it in the computer in a computer language so she had learned this computer language when she was only six years old and after that the moment see within no time okay in no time without wasting any time see the moment she inserted the homework in the punch code of the computer the mechanical teacher calculated the marks all right here next now the inspector had smiled after he had finished and patted margie's head he said to her mother it's not the little girl's fault in mr mrs jones i think the geographic uh geography sector was geared up a little too quick those things happen sometimes i have slowed it up to an average 10 year level actually uh, the overall pattern of the progress is quite satisfactory and he patted margie's head again okay now here uh gear up okay it means uh adjusted to a particular standard level so the computer is needs to be adjusted uh, to a particular standard or to a particular level okay not very um very speed and not very uh slow okay? so it should be on a certain level okay so after fixing the computer the inspector smiled and when he finished after finishing his work after uh fixing the computer okay and she patted you know patted on the soldier mm. she, he said to um, margie's mom that uh your little girl that's not really your little girl she's uh you know she's a good student it's not her fault this is the fault of the uh, geography sector in the computer because the computer was geared up uh, too quick okay it was the computer was set uh, a little too quick so i have and he says that it uh, it happens sometimes it the things happen sometimes but now uh, he has i have uh, he he has okay the inspector has fixed the computer and he has slowed down okay to average 10 year level okay and he too said that uh, actually overall performance of her daughter is quite satisfactory and he patted margie's head again all right but margie was disappointed she had been hoping that uh, they would take the teacher away altogether they had once taken thomas teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had yeah. blanked out completely okay students if you want um, you may underline the word uh, blanked out okay all right uh, blinked out means uh, what to say uh, erased okay or wiped out okay now margie was very disappointed and uh, she had been hoping that 
they will take the computer's uh, teacher away okay they will uh, you know this computer when I say teacher this is the mechanical teacher away from her because she was so dull sitting alone uh, sitting on the uh, chair looking at the computer so she wanted she wanted uh, to get rid of this uh, mechanical computer right Right, um, she wished that um, they took away the computer's teacher, like Tommy's teacher. You know, uh, what happened was that um, once uh, Tommy's teacher, this computer teacher, when I say teacher, this is a mechanical teacher, not a real teacher, okay? Tommy's um, robotic teacher was taken away nearly for a month because in the computer sector or in the computer section, uh, Sorry, the computer. Sorry, um, history section. Okay, the history sector in the computer had completely erased. So they took it for uh, about a month to repair the computer. Okay, so um, Margie wished that she did. Uh, she's uh, his teacher also been taken away uh, to get repaired okay it's just that in other words she wanted to you know destroy the computer okay so uh, she said to tommy what would anyone write about a school so uh, she said to tommy that why would everyone write about a school on the textbook uh, the real book that you have found okay tommy looked at her with very superior eyes superior means mm, okay wait mm, because it's not our kind of school stupid she said stupid too Margie, this is the old kind of school they had at hundreds and hundreds of years ago. He added loft, loftily, pronouncing the word carefully, centuries ago. All right. Now, um, when Margie asked me why someone has to write about a school in the very book that Tom has found on that day, yeah? uh, Tommy looked at her with uh, in a superior way, okay? As if he is, you know, superior than the little girl. She said, oh, you stupid girl. See, it's not about kind of school. This is the old kind of school that had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. He added loft, loft uh, arrogant, okay? Arrogant, okay. And Tommy also added loft, you see, pronouncing the word. He stretched the word centuries ago. Okay, so he wants to show that uh, he knows much more better than the little girl Margie. Okay. Okay, Margie was hurt. No, Margie was hurt. See, well, I do not know what kind of school they had. At the time ago, she read the book over his shoulder for a while and then, anyway, they had a teacher. Okay. So Margie was hurt. Uh, for, um, for the behavior of... Uh, Tommy, but she said, "Well, he, she does. She, she did not know, okay, or she don't know. She doesn't know. See, what kind of school they had uh, at that time, long time back, eight centuries ago. So, she uh, read the book for a while over his shoulder, okay. But anyway, they had a teacher, okay. We we'll move to the next page, okay. Here, if you look at a picture here." Um, this is Tommy and this is a little girl and 11 years old, uh, Margie. So this is her imagination, okay? Like uh, the students here and the teacher, the real uh, human being teacher, see? Standing in front of the students and teaching them. So this is what was written in the old book, okay? That Tommy has found the other day. So this is her imagination. So let's uh, go to the next page. Sure, uh, they had a better teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher, it was a man, so I said, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, there was a better teacher, but um, those days, it wasn't like a regular teacher, not like a, a ro ro robotic or a mechanical teacher, but it was the real man, see, a human being. A man? Margie was surprised. How could a man be a teacher? Margie said, oh, how could a man be a teacher? Now, at this present time, uh, he has never seen, uh, sorry, she has never seen a man teaching lesson okay all she could learn was simply 
sat on the chair looking at the computer which was fixed in front of her okay a visual classroom so Margie was very shocked see how could a man be a teacher well he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions so Tommy replied well the, he a human being teacher okay not a mechanical teacher just told the boys and girls gave them homework and asked them questions and Margie said, oh, a man is not smart enough. Oh, hey, Tommy, a man is not smart enough, see? And Tommy replied, no. Sure, a man, he is a very smart man, see? My mother, my father uh, knows as much as teacher, see? He compares his father, okay, a man, a human being, okay? Uh, is as much knowledgeable as the computer teacher, see? Here, teacher means the computer robotic teacher, okay? He knows almost as much as Becha. Becha means uh, informal with you in, I bet you in a fast speech, means I'm sure. So uh, Tommy said that his father knows as much as the computer teacher. I can bet you. And I, he was pretty sure about it. Uh, Margie wasn't prepared to dispute that. She said, I would not want a strange man in my house to teach me, okay? But Margie was not prepared. She doesn't want to argue, okay, to make a dispute with um, uh, Tommy. And she said that she doesn't want a strange man in my inner house to teach her. So here, strange man means a teacher, a real, a man, a human being teacher, not a robot teacher, yeah? Okay, Tommy screamed with laughter. You don't know much, Margaret. The teachers did not live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. So Tommy screamed with laughter and said to Margaret, Margaret, you do not know any, anything, Margaret. See? Those days, uh, teachers did not live in the house, okay? Here they had a special building. Here a special building refers to school. And all the kids those days went to the school. And teachers taught them every day. It's not like... Uh, person sitting alone in the bedroom and confining in a bedroom and looking at a computer so it is it's not like a virtual classroom that's what Tommy said to Margie and all the kids learned the same thing so and Margie asked and all the kids learned the same thing did all the kids learn the same thing uh, Tommy replied sure yes if they were at the same age so if they were at the same age uh, the same classroom of course uh, they learn the same thing. All right. Number eight, uh, Margaret replied that, but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to feed the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and what, and that each kid has to be taught differently. But you know, Tommy, my mother says that a teacher, a, a teacher means a computerized teacher, okay, has to be adjusted with the mind of each and every girl and teaches uh, kids has to be taught differently so each students has to be taught differently so students were being taught differently by a computer teacher uh, just the same they did not do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book I did not say I didn't like it Margie said quickly she wanted to read about those funny books sorry schools okay so uh, Tommy was you know um, was not happy so uh, a little bit angry, see, and a little bit of, uh, you know, arrogant, proud. So she said, hey, uh, Mary, if you do not want to uh, read the book, the old book that I found it that particular day. Now they are reading the book together at the moment, right? So um, he said to Margie, if you do not like the book, do not read it. Margie replied, no, it, it did not mean that I did not like the book. Margie said quickly, of course, she wants to read the book, okay, the book. She was curious and they weren't half finished when Margie's mother called Margie, school. Margie looked up, not yet mama, mother, right? Now said Mrs. Jones, this is her mother, Mrs. Jones, yeah, Margie's mother. And it's probably time for Tommy too, okay. Right. So uh, they were reading the book together and it wasn't even half finished, okay? Not even half portion of the story they have read. At the time, all of a sudden, Margie's mother called 
Margie school. Margie, you need to go to school now. And Margie said, no, mama, it's no time yet. And Margie's mother even said, no. See, Mrs. Jones, her mother said, okay. Tommy, this is for you as well. Please go back home. You may please go home and let my daughter Margie go to attend the visual class. Okay. Uh, Margie said, "You told me can I read the book sometime when you go after the school?" After. So Margie said, "I told me can I read the book, the old book, the, uh, some more when with you after the school." So I want to read the textbook that you have found a long time back after the school along with you uh, number nine to Marilla, yeah, maybe he was not sure see he said nonchalantly nonchalantly it means uh, what not not no interest okay uh, or enthusiasms carelessly so he said carelessly to uh, mark they might be he might come but i'm not pretty sure and he walked back home whistling okay to me uh, went home whistling and the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm he put or he placed the old book beneath his arms and Tommy went back home all right now next paragraph now margie went to the classroom it was right next to her uh, bedroom see so margie went to the classroom okay i'm seeing school room and this is not the rails of schoolroom it was right next to her bed and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her it was always on it at a time in every day except sunday saturday and sunday okay so this teacher the robotic teachers works every day except saturday and sunday and he was very regular okay very punctual uh, ready to you know take the classes in the computer so her classroom was just next to her bedroom okay Let's move to the next page. Okay, so here's the picture. See the little girl is sitting on the on the chair. He's alone. Okay, okay. the virtual classroom. The me uh, the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen. So uh, this teacher, the mechanical teacher, a robotic teacher, not the real human being, was showing on the screen. Okay, because her mother said little girls learn better if they learn regular hours. So. Uh, her mother, her uh, Margaret's mother, believed that when everyone students a little bit regular, she learns more. Okay, and even the mechanical teacher is very punctual because it's all pre-programmed. Okay, you know pre-programmed. Okay. Now the screen was light up, and it said today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. So at the moment uh, Margie open the, starts the computer, the screen light up and it said, uh, today's we will take arithmetic lesson, uh, mathematics lesson, and the topic was friction, proper uh, fraction, sorry. And the um, teacher, the mechanical teacher, mm -hmm. instructed this little girl to please eat. Um, insert the homework in the proper slot okay next the market did it with a sign the market did it with a sign is Simon said okay because he's sitting all alone together whole day no one to talk with her so it was a very dull and monotonous you know monotonous is very dull okay doing the routine the same routine again and again very dull and very boring so she was not happy she was sad so she was thinking about uh, the old schools they had when her grandfather's father was a little boy. Uh, all the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the schoolyards, sitting together in the classroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same thing so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it. Okay. Now why... Uh, the little girl, Margie was said, see, she was thinking about the story that her grandfather's uh, grandfather's grandfather, okay, when he was a little boy, see, they used to go to school, all the kids in neighboring uh, came together, they laughed, played together, shouting in the schoolyard, schoolyard means at the back of the school, uh, 
those days the children you know they sit sit together in the classroom uh going home together at the end of the day they learn so many things they share everything they even share the uh, you know homework and help one another so she was missing the stories that was written in the old textbook that Tommy was found and she was missing the story that uh, her grandfather told her long which happened a long time back okay so those days all teachers were people those days okay but now in the future the teachers are computer robot teacher so the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fraction half and one fourth see so this is the math one by two one by four okay uh, so the computer teacher you know uh, came on the screen and he started adding the fractions one plus one or half plus one for equal to continue okay now um, the next one margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved in it those all day see margie was thinking he was remembering and he was imagining see those days how the kids must have loved it those days and she was thinking about the fun they had here is here the writers mention about the title of the story the fun they had so this little girl was thinking about the fun the children had long time back centuries back so the story was written by isaac asimov okay an american writer all right all right so students uh that is the end of the uh, chapter one and uh, if you go to the next page or oh, here i have given to all the questions and answer before please go through it and try to understand it okay do not simply memorize and uh, here in the next page okay thinking about the language here here okay so um here are the words uh, here are given inside the box and please go through the questions carefully and then if you do not know the words meaning please refer to the dictionary and this will be your homework okay do it at home and submit it to my whatsapp number or if you have any doubt you may call me personally okay uh, all right so students in my next class i will give you the syllabus for the first term and uh, remember students that there is one more textbook uh, uh, your supplementary textbook okay a moment this is for your self-reading you need to study at home by yourself uh, so please practicing these moments uh, will you know improve your vocabulary and this will, this will also improve your communication skill okay i'll see you in my next class stay safe and have a good day till then take care bye bye